This playthrough is sponsored by Game Toppers. Game Toppers are great if you want to deluxify the most important things in your life. Like board games. We were all thinking of board games. Hello fellow gamers, I'm Glory Hound and this is... Dr. Glory Hound. And today what are we playing? Dice Throne Adventures. I'm going to need you to be a little bit more pumped about this. This is your game, Doctor. Dice Throne This is your game. Adventures. This is your favorite game. You've learned the game. You're all about Manny, the artist in this game. Like, Well, to be fair, I think you may everybody as well, is all about Manny. You may as well do a cosplay about this game. As Manny? <laughs> or as the game? Both. I could do it. I think I could as do it. As Manny, Manny drawing the game? I would have like, to like, yeah. work out and shave my head, but I could do it. I could do it. I think it's possible. It's doable. No, this is Dice Throne Adventures, and so we kind of went, we kind of asked the internet what kind of characters we should play, right? We asked in a couple different places, and actually the Pyromancer won, won out, which is kind of cool, because that's like my favorite character from the first season was the Pyromancer. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, that was always my favorite. That was the one I always liked to play. I mean, I started off playing Barbarian, and then I went through all of them, but Pyromancer's always been my favorite. And there was a bunch of different suggestions, like the Holy Rollers, rollers like the Paladin and the Seraph, and there was like... Uh, was it the ninja and the samurai and all kinds of? I I thought the Trent and the gunslinger would be cool because they're like Rocket and Groot, like oh, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy style. The best one though was someone said you should play the Trent and the Pyromancer, and I was like, that's just like flaming, like a flaming <laughs> log just running around. You just light the tree on fire, and then he just runs in there and catches everybody else on fire. It's great. And hello to our chat today. It looks like we have Studio Lannison in here. Battle cry, fatal paper cut. Who else? I saw somebody else new. Hold on. Van, Studio hello Lannison to all of you. They thought they were going to get their super epic mega pledge in today, so Ooh, but they did not. Not and yet. I love Fatal riding in on the ostrich, and Battle Cry is not a says not a choc like a chocobo. I love chocobo. So chocobo. Much. Like I remember in Final Fantasy VII, chocobo like you're farming, and you had to like make all these crazy combinations to get all the special chocobos, and that was I spent so many hours. I don't think you all understand. I spent. So many hours breeding chocobos. So many hours. <laughs> tiny hands. Very tiny hands. It was crazy. <laughs> so I'm playing as a pyromancer. She is playing as the new ninja, which just came out with season one rerolled. So that was the way to get that one. Uh, this is Dice Throne Adventures. We're going through the portal one. So that way we don't do too many spoilers because we're not even opening up the legacy packs because there are legacy packs in there. And what else? There's also... Well, if you're interested in the game, the X-Trays, um, gosh, really anything, the Adler game table, all that stuff is linked below. And this is a should you play. By the end of this, you should know if this is a game for you. If you want a how to play, you should go find somebody else. You should go, but yeah, you right should now. go check out some after. other awesome content yeah, creators after. afterwards, okay? After. <laughs> but look at these. Like, I, you know, this actually was one of the big things. The reason why we went three rolled specifically, now this is all pre me working for Game Trays, was because of these, because of these. These awesome game trays here. They come with all your characters you, and everything. Why are you just, you're so bad at this. And showing off stuff? Yeah. There we go. That's it. I love it. I thought this was like the coolest thing ever. And it was the whole reason why I spent like an extra 60 bucks or something to get a game I already had redone. You're like, oh, so yeah, that it would game match trays. up And What's I could have up? my multiple battle chests right next to each other. If you want to how to play, go on. Get says battle or so yeah. Fatal Pattern. Yeah, and then fatal I was like, oh, wait, don't. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, oh, no, come don't back, come leave. back. So I'm super come pumped back. about that one. So if you get the season one re-rolled or if you get season two, the battle chest, those all have the game trays and yeah. I also have to say that the new ninja character is my all-time favorite Dice Throne character. Already? Yeah, just 100% all-time favorite character. I played him yesterday and it was... Like, it just fits my play style of not being able to roll anything <laughs> because I get more re-rolls on stuff. And That's I'm like, yes, we did not that is yesterday. what I'm talking about. Oh, it was not yesterday. It was two days ago. It was, we played some days. And, and as a reminder, good. obviously this game it. just, just delivered. So we're really excited to be able to get to the table as fast as possible. All right, here are my cards that I got to start with here. Oh, yeah, so this is like, we're not fighting each other. I've got Hot Streak and Ignite number two. What? I've got Red Hot, which lets you do damage for your Fire Mastery, and I've got Fire Up, which you actually increases your stack. Two of your upgrades in your first hand. This is exactly why I don't want to battle Dr. Glory Hog. I in want this, this in one. Dice Throne. This is exactly why right here, because of the luck 
ability. This one right straight up right here just makes it so I can have more fire. You should show the camera whenever you do it. You don't you know I can't do that. <laughs> fire mastery. All right. So this who, is like increasing my stack of fire mastery. Who's I'm a big going fan first? of that one. Who's going first? Who's on you first? You can go first. Really? Oh. I'll allow you to ninja oh. your way. I just like the idea that I'm out there just like fire, fire, fire and you're sneaking around being like pook them people. <laughs> You're the distraction for me. Yeah. So the, that's how this, we play all games. No, in this much. scenario, well, that's true. In this scenario, we're trying to get these little dice pieces here, right? Yeah. So you got to try. To, so we're doing, like I said, the portal crawl. So what we're doing is we've just showed up. We're searching for the Mad King, right? So we're going to collect the different shards to unlock the, the next portal to get to the next area, and hopefully we'll find the Mad King. And as a note, this board right here is set up a little bit differently, just saving on space here so and i like the little cards they have for this these cards are sweet yeah so they give you little time, scenarios so you can play this over and over again because there's multiple level ones there's multiple level threes there's multiple level fives and another interesting thing too that they've changed because if you watch us play the prototype of it before it was you went through the portal find the boss and then fight the boss they've actually separated that now so now it's the portal crawl itself <laughs> and then the next session would be fighting a boss I didn't ask how big the room was. I said cast fireball. Yeah, and Pyromancer <laughs> is 100% my style of play. It's all risk, maybe reward, all right. because it's all like all DPS, all damage, but no healing or blocking. So You're the first just going thing I'm doing in. is I'm moving. I'm moving on to this tile here, and then I flip it over. Yes. It's a lonely statue. Search your deck for an ability upgrade card that costs two or less and put it into play, then shuffle the deck. What? Yeah, you over here crying, and look at that. You get to like what? search one out. And then, is this a bad guy here? Yeah, you want to get me the bad guy, and then you can search through your deck. Look at that. And you have an upgrade in your hand, too. So you, you have Don't an upgrade, and you just found a new upgrade. Like so that. what we have is the Brutus Cyclops. Put it up there where no one can see it. Oh, no, you can see it. I lied. What does this guy got going on here? He's got, so his roll, he's got his roll objective down here, which is what you want to roll. So he wants to roll... Four of those like white slashes and then one of the sixes on his. And then it kind of tells you what he does. On a failed defensive roll, deal two undefendable damage. Nice. So brutish. All right, and I get to put this in my hand. And then after we've explored, we reveal the minion. Did you now... shuffle your deck? Oh, dang it. Dang it! <laughs> so yeah, you've explored. So now we move on to you could spend a salve if you wanted to, which is kind of like our little healing potions here, right? And there's randomness as far as how much you heal. And it's different depending on if you're doing heroic or regular and all kinds of different things. But for this first level one. But now I get to, to go into like the normal phases for. Yes, yeah, so you go into your hero step. Right? Yeah. Okay. Since nobody has first strike, you go right into your hero step. So upkeep phase, <coughs> income me. phase, I get a CP and a card. Mm -hmm. That's the important part. You don't want to miss out on your CP and your card, okay? That's the really, really important part. So many times I'll be playing and that's. First thing yeah. I lose out on. Oh, yeah, you always do. And All then the I want to spend the CPs. I can't tell you how many times she messes up. <laughs> That's a lot. I'm going to add Slash to my thing. Yeah, it's Jerry, the Brutish Cyclops. He's an all right guy, but he's kind of a jerk. For my first main phase here, and then I'm going to go into my offensive role phase. As long as you don't follow him on Twitter, he's a pretty good guy. You get on Twitter, though, and he is just, woo, Jerry. Jerry the Cyclops? Yeah, he's saying? the worst on Twitter. I have Do, not seen him on Twitter. Who's, do not follow him on Twitter. Follow his Instagram, that's fine. His Twitter, horrible. You don't want to be on there. Who's Jerry the Cyclops on Twitter? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know this joke <laughs> that just, you're doing. Uh, I don't know, know Fatal this Paper Cut thing. said, you found Jerry, so I just went with it. <laughs> All right, so I have a four, five, six. So those are little pieces of like little pieces of shards, and if we get all three of them, that will let us actually come to this tile and flip it over. Battle cry. Should I go for like the three? You put a salve right on it. If you look, it's a giant die there that needs its three halves. So basically, it forces you to go out and explore before you can just go to the end. Otherwise, we could just run right up, and that would be kind of boring. So should I go for? What should I go for? I don't know. What do you got? You got. I four, mean, I five, guess six, overall, I could probably two. do smoke screen if I like just totally like flub up and miss my straight. I'm going for right. Yeah, because you'll probably get that. Oh, oh, things have changed. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Are you gonna try to go and like roll your last two to get Shade Walk potentially? 
which is gain smoke oh, bomb. Oh, this is why I'm so poison, bad at this and game. Deal six undefendable damage. This is why I'm so bad at this game. What do you think I should do, Doctor? Because you always switch your mind. I know. Because if, if I go for this, six, and then it's like it's great, but if you miss it, you get nothing. I know. So I don't think I'm gonna take that chance because oh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> well, you want me to roll that? No. I'll tell you after Everyone, you roll these. If if I roll really bad on this, and I just like. Totally get wrecked on the first turn. I'm going to be so upset right now. <laughs> Either way, you either needed a three or a six. And it would have been better to go for the six. It was fine. No! Why? So you didn't get walk the line. I don't think I got anything, did I? I don't think I got anything. No, you did not. I don't see anything there. You were really bad at this game. <laughs> this is why. See, everyone, I told you I'm really bad <laughs> How did you get nothing? Oh my gosh. Okay, so basically... Do you have any things in your hand that will help you change die? I say we should uh, probably res restart my turn. That's probably what should happen. Nope. No? No? Okay. That was your turn. <laughs> well, you know what? It was a good run, everybody. It was a good run. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to have to come It was nice out. knowing you all. <laughs> All right, you ready for the monster? Okay. So the monster gets three rolls, just like everybody else. So I'll go ahead and control the minion. And wow, he's got, he wants these, and he wants this. And he's going to go ahead and roll I, again. I hope that, oh gosh. And he wants oh, that. What? Doctor, don't do it. He oh. missed it. So he missed it. So his passive is on a failed offensive roll deal, two <laughs> undefeatable damage. Your cat is not your name is Cat, not Mulligan. <laughs> so you're going to take two. You cannot defend against it, which means you cannot um, also damage. do your shade shift or anything two like that. Two damage right away. Two damage right away. So first blood. So should I like come help you or should I just run off somewhere else? You should probably run off someplace else because this is a cooperative <coughs> game and I feel All like right. that's probably what should happen. <laughs> are you being serious? What, whatever you want to do. I mean, there I'll are run two. Off. There are two pieces God. over in this general direction. So she I'm sells saying. me one thing, but she really all wants saying. another okay. thing. All right, well, you ready? The, I used all of my really good rolls for dwellings of Elder Vale. I Hell. feel like right that was where all my good rolls went You're to. You're not for allowed the to month. talk about that game that in front of me. It. That was where all of them went to for the month. <laughs> I got Pyrobrass three. That one's pretty good. That one's like all the stuff. What do I want to do? Hot streak is a small straight. It's always good. Ignite is my large straight one. Did you get a bunch of put, stuff in your hand? Yeah, I've got yeah. three upgrades already. I'm going to put down my hot streak because that's your small straight one. And so you should always be able to hit a small so straight. In chat, always. In chat, I want to know who your favorite character is in Dice Throne. Just all time favorite character. What about Dice for Throne? each season? Because no, for Pyromancer I... and Gunslinger. Well, first off, <coughs> you have me. to choose one. No. <laughs> These are fresh you dice. You have to choose one. I've never rolled these okay. dice before. Because <laughs> I played with the Trant earlier. Okay, so Reckles Gamer says, how many spaces can you move at one time? Whenever you're discovering new places, you can only move one space. However, if you've discovered a whole area, you can move like one space to go across that whole area, right? Right. You can move across any explored space. Right. But if it's unexplored, you can only move to the most nearest unexplored one. And right. you have to move on your turn. So if all these were flipped over, I could move from here all the way to here. Right. If they were all flipped over. But since they're not, we're going to go one space at a time. And of course, I just got the level three pyroblast. And I'm like, oh, I should do that. But then I didn't. And I went for the hot streak. And then I got pyroblast. And then you got the pyroblast. That's how it works. Yeah. Deal six damage and then roll 1d6. Well, that's pretty good. Jay Peter says, Dwelling was fantastic. I learned how to play or how to lay down a beat down. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, how to play all in one game. Good. <laughs> I, you know what? I didn't give the Artificer like their due, and then I played them live one time, and I really I mean, enjoyed playing yeah, them. Yeah. I whooped you with them. The Artificer is really good. They are a more advanced character, though. So if you're new to Dice Throne, it's probably not the one you should be starting with, but. Those bots can really add up, absolutely. All right, so I'm going to go for nine damage because I got six off of this, and then I rolled fire for my extra die. Okay. So it's three damage. So I'm going for nine damage. So they need to do their defensive roll, which is one die. I've not played yet, but I like how the Pyromancer looks. That will be my first try, Ooh. and then probably the Samurai, says Studio Lannison. Oh, yeah. Pyromancer's a lot of fun, and I like how they redid all the new art and everything. Manny's art is always really good, oh, but it got Manny's even better. Manny's art is better. so, so good. So... He didn't block it, but he did three back. So he did three back on his defensive roll. And so he's going to take nine. What is his health at? 
14. Probably should have looked at that, huh? <laughs> 14, so that's five. The other character that I really like playing that is a little bit more advanced, I think they're like a midway advanced character, is the pirate. Like the oh, pirate. Curse pirate. Oh, curse pirate, so good. <gasps> So that was I my attack on one. them. So now they get a chance to go ahead and attack me because it'll be their turn now. They're like a bit of a ticking time bomb, though. I haven't gained any fire mastery yet, which is like my favorite if thing. If you could just be a little bit more fiery, that would be excellent, okay? I, I'm sorry, did, how much damage did you do? Oh, that's right, you whipped your whole turn. <clears throat> and look, I'm such a good roller, <laughs> I even attacked myself well. <laughs> so, what's what are they doing to me? What is Jerry up to here? Deal six damage and roll one die, add damage equal to the roll's value. Three. Okay, so cool. They're doing nine back oh, to wait, me. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, they're doing nine back to me. Remember nine, and I'm going to try to defend with my five probably die. probably deserve that for a, a, Here's little, the a little cool bit thing. because you're common. <clears throat> the Pyromancer straight up doesn't heal or block. They just do damage back potentially or gain fire. Wait, you can't heal at all throughout this game? You just took nine damage? Uh, Yeah, that's what's kind of happening right now. So I gained... <laughs> so they're going to take three damage back. So they're going to go down to two. This is going to go well. I, I, I can feel this in my bones right now. <laughs> this is going to go really well. I didn't gain any fire mastery. <laughs> so Battle Cry says, only played season one, but I don't remember who I played. Jay Peter says, does the pirate have a parrot? No, but they do have cursed gold, and that's where it's all at. Oh, all Yeah, they have at, a, the they're unique because their board flips. So once you get to a certain point, their board and flips. And then you can't go back after that. They're just cursed forever. So on the bright side, I got them down to two health. On the bad side, I'm down to six health. So, your turn. All good things, everyone. All good things. I don't want to do anything with my <laughs> second main. Battle Cry says fire carterizes, so you should be fine. <laughs> yeah. There's a character that doesn't seem cool, which was part of why I went all in. Oh, there isn't a character that right. doesn't no, seem they're cool. All yeah. Fun. No, they all look amazing. Like, we, like Manny's art is them. just so good. Just I've, so good. I haven't played every single character myself, but I've played it either... We played through the whole, all the boxes, basically, with one of us playing one of the characters. So, can you spend salves and stuff? Yeah, I can. On okay. my turn. Well, I can't. I'm not going to move or anything. It really sucks to have to spend salve, like, on my first turn. Because well, we don't get more of these. Yeah, it might be a short adventure. She might be doing it solo. <laughs> solo from here on out. All right, so it's your turn. So, gain CP, draw a card. Okay, and then I was going to say that it's better, like, hopefully I can get them down this turn, so hopefully you can land here and get that salve, you know? Right. Because that would be really good for you. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see. What do I want to do? What do I want to Have, like, do? allergies and a real bad dry cough. The problem is, is I want to level up my stuffs. I knew the Pyromancer would be super high risk. When The cool thing about but when you play that trick is that... They have uh, the ability to put Wellspring on people and kind of heal them, and they have little saplings they can spend and everything. These cards are going to help me. I have a feeling they're going to help me, okay? Huh? Let's get these terrible dice you off my probably, board. You should have probably kept like some of your CP for that so wild you have, so you could make sure Why that one of your Why are you looking at dies... my hand, Doctor? That's personal. <laughs> you can't just look at somebody's cards like that. That's cool. The hunters can be OP as long as Nira is yeah. alive, and you know how to use it when, uh, oh, use Nira's bond. Yeah, there's nothing like taking like 14 incoming damage and then be like, Nira, you got my back? And she's like, sure. Bleh. Look at all these sixes are like tempting me. Go for them then, because you only need one more and you got two more rolls. I should have held CP for that <laughs> one card I had in my hand. Oh, isn't that what I just said? <laughs> the guarantee? Yep, roll again. So we're gonna. I think I'm gonna reverse this though, because is it is it better to get? It's probably better to roll these no. and then try to get this tip of the blade than the sixes, right? Uh, because I can get three on here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, statistically, I should have better chances, right, chat? Statistically. 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 I mean, well, I'm gonna technically, do that. actually, hold on. You could. Statistically, if you were to roll these two and try to go for that smoke screen, but you don't really want to give them delayed poison because that's going to let them have their whole full turn to hit you. All right, I'll roll these two. I'll Wait, roll what are you doing? What are you going two. for right now? I have no idea. We're just we're rolling and seeing what happens. Boom, I'm going for that. Roll that one. What? You should have rolled all of them. Why did you? Why? You put that one away like I was supposed to hold I was on saving... to it. Well, okay. 
I was saying if you went for smoke screen. But if you're not going for smoke screen, I don't know why you would keep it. How dare you, doctor. Okay. Now that we're all properly confused. <laughs> I'm not confused. <laughs> so you have the option of doing tip of the blade. Which is roll one die, deal pure damage equal to the roll value. Okay. And you just got to hope that they don't... Uh... Ah, glory Hound crushed it like a game tray. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking so about. So you're doing three, that was damage. three damage. So let's see if they do three damage back to no, you or what? if they heal. No, no. They. I don't did know what nothing. that is, but no. Okay, good. That is the one miss they have. Smoke screens are good, says Marie. I agree. You. Everybody needs a little smoke screen in their life, right? right. So you killed it. <laughs> you killed Jerry the Brutish Cyclops. Go ahead and roll. Your die for this loot chest. Okay, here. and hold on here. So, <coughs> J. Peter says the doctor seems to have lost his mojo in Dwellings Game, and it has stayed on vacation. <laughs> wow. Called out. You just got called out, doctor. She won't play with me anymore because she knows now I'll be ruthless. Nine. All right, so you got a nine, and this was a level two. I would like something two. really good. Oh, you get two hearts. Like two health? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Must be nice. Must what what be are you nice. looking at over there for this? I am looking at, well, it's underneath stuff. I'm looking at this loot tray that you roll. Go ahead and you show it off. One of these here that just showed you based on the D20 on what you roll and then what sort of treasure you get so for level each different two, type. All the way to nine, somewhere ish, right there. She got two hearts. And what's cool about this is, and this is kind of the whole point of this game, if you end up getting to the end where it has like the different cards and stuff, you get unidentified cards and you know they're either common, rare, epic, or legendary. And then you have to spend gold that you get throughout the campaign to basically identify them, just like you would in D&D with the unidentified spells or weapons. Hello, Luke. How are you doing today? And the dice is incredibly cool. It's like gold, shimmery that gold. Oh, oh, pardon me. All right, pardon so me, it's sir. my turn. I'm going to go ahead and spend salve. So the salve okay. in this one says is heal three plus one per portal short shard collected. So we don't have any portal shards, but that'll at least get me back yeah, up to nine why life. Why just take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> Here's the thing, though. You want to save these because in every future scenario, you don't get more. You only get what's out on the board and whatever you've saved. So. Ripples says, watching you guys makes me so jealous. We hope that yours comes really, really soon. Like, we're crossing our fingers for you, okay? I'm not. <laughs> I hope it gets delayed for another week. No, I kid. A cheese die? No, it's sparkly and golden. It looks like gold dust that's been, like, <sighs> swirled around or something like that. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. It's a toll bridge. So, I can either spawn a level 2 minion. Okay. Or, I can pay 3 CP and spawn a level 1 minion. But I would have to sell cards at this point, and I really don't want to sell my cards, all my CP and my cards, just to get that. Got, Luke says, I got my first dice tower yesterday, and it's supposed to come on Thursday. I'm so excited. We love using dice towers, like, a lot. We don't use them on camera as much because they're a little bit noisy. But we have a dice tower, and we use it frequently for games where we're, we have, like, versus each other. Because I always feel, like, super extra angry if the doctor... Roll something really good against me. What do you want? The level think, two? Uh, level one? Level two? Level one? Level zero? Level two. Come on down! <laughs> Our level two is the Horned Harpy with First Strike. Oh, that's probably fine. That's not right? so great. That's probably fine. So, First Strike essentially means they get to go first, right? It doesn't say you, it doesn't say you have to. It says May. Yes, it is in May. I can either spend CP and sell cards, or I could just fight the higher monster. I went for the higher monster because I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, and they want these, and that's what they're getting, too. Look at that. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about, with Luke, on Discord about dice trades and everything, like, for, oh, like, yeah. the last two days, I believe. I'm excited. You're oh. going to have to post a... Uh... On our Discord. Oh, is that their special? Six undefendable damage. So what? I just go down to three health. This is going to be short. We're 20 minutes in, and the doctor, you're going to tank the game for us, doctor. We're not going to get okay. anywhere in the scenario. I'm going to need you to do a little bit better. Do better. You understand how games work, Do you right? need a burrito slap up in here? <laughs> Why don't you roll the dice for the bad guys? <laughs> So that That's way actually they, probably a really good idea. I'll so that roll. way they fail. Whenever you roll against me, though, you do really well for some reason. So, 
It's All because right. I'm rolling against you. So I have the option to spend a salve again. I'd prefer not to. You should. I'd prefer not to, though, because it's so weak right now. It's just going to get me back up to six health. All right, let me draw my card. And I need to figure some stuff out. So, um, and I'm going to get my CP. So I'm at two CP. You need, like, all the salves. How much life does this harpy have? Three? Or, I'm sorry, not three. Ten? Yeah, she has ten. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Getting Paid, which is going to give me two CP. Let's see here. And then I'm going to use this CP right now to do Fire Up, which is going to be increase your Fire Mastery stack by one and then gain two Fire Mastery. We appreciate you hanging out in Discord chat with us, Luke. We always appreciate the conversation. We love talking about games in there. Let's see here. Uh, Battlecry says, I still need to post the 3D printed ones. Absolutely. And Reckl says, when I bought Season 2, I spent two weeks playing against myself because of COVID. And when I finally decided to go play with family, Two days later, oh no, that's terrible. Then they went ahead and tested positive and you're back to square one. I'm so sorry. You know what, though, this is <coughs> a perfect game to play remotely. Yeah, just as long as everybody has a copy. Yeah, if, if everybody has a copy, then you can just set up your little character, roll against each other, and have like your camera set up looking over the boards, and you'd be able to play Dice Throne with somebody else over the internet. All right, so I gained some fire mastery at least, which is always good. What do I got going on here? Three, I four, five, six. I mean, I've already got a small straight. I need you to roll your ultimate because I feel like if I'm you're rolling against me, that. just picture like you're rolling against me in your mind because if you do that, then you're going to roll your ultimate at least a minimum of three times during this adventure, okay? Doctor, look right at me. Look at me. Look at me. No, roll, I'm kind of busy. Roll your ultimate. No. Doctor, roll your ultimate. I'm just going to roll a large straight. All right. So I can either do, so with my hot streak, <laughs> I can either do hot streak or I can do ignite. Hot streak is going to give me two fire mastery, and then I'm going to do six plus one per fire mastery. So that's going to be like a lot. My ignite, which is my large straight, is going to be gain two fire mastery, then deal four plus two damage per fire mastery. Let's do that one. So I'm going to do my large straight, and I'm going to gain two fire mastery right there. So I'm already up to four, and I'm going to do... I'm going to do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to do 12 damage Ooh. to them. Well, that just takes them all the way out. Well, they right? get a chance to defend. Oh. They always get a chance to well, defend. Dang it. So, Fatal says, so weekly Discord uh, cool. Dice Throne Adventure matches then, right? I'll write out the schedules for I would you. Do that. that would be fantastic. I would play Dice You could go through a whole adventure with somebody just because somebody would just need to do the adventure part and everybody could have their own boards. I prefer to do murders. Thank you very much. So, they only get bonuses on having the actual little swirls, but they lose reduce health. So they actually died. So I one shot at them. So that's like that. that's a positive, right? That is a positive because if you one shot somebody, they can't hit you back. Well they already hit me first. It's like Well you should have been watching. Were you not even here? <laughs> I rolled a seven. That seven's gonna give me <sighs> one card. I'm gonna have to try it because it sucks playing against myself and not being able to uh, bias towards a character I like better. I felt like an old man from the Bugs movies playing chess against himself. <laughs> oh. Well, you know what? We have our Discord link in the description, so make sure to hit that up and get in our Discord channel because if y'all are interested in playing Dice Throne, yeah, there's channels. There's lots of channels set up in there, and we could do a big Dice Throne day. That would be fun. We need to set up like a game day where everybody comes down and plays games like in Discord chat. We were talking about that the other day. No, we weren't. Yeah, we were. Okay, sure. <laughs> Boy, I want this and this. I want to sell stuff. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell these. Two Are you upgrades. for real right now? You're you're selling your upgrades right now. I'm thinking about it. You're selling your upgrades. Can you calm down? Everyone, I don't feel like that's very i mean i guess if you need the cp but you're selling your upgrades i'll sell one okay i feel like that's better <laughs> you need to trust me i know what i'm doing clearly okay i, I can see all that. right it is your turn okay so you got to move do you want to spend a self you don't have to do you because you're no full health. no I'm, i've got full health i i'm quite nimble and strong <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're saying is you can't actually hit an enemy, but an enemy can't hit you. So that's your plan. Right. That is my plan. I just dance around the enemies and then they get confused and they get bored and leave. So I'm going to go here and then I think I'm going to go into the depths down here. 
Yeah, it's not always easy getting your kid into into playing games. You would think our kid would play games, and that's not. When when they do, they really enjoy it. But getting them to is like a pain sometimes. I found the Everglade Stream. So I gain one treasure, and I spawn a level one, and then this main nin gains first strike. Okay, so if you were... But I get one of these dice pieces. Yes, yeah, so go and put the dice piece up there because we've discovered it. So I think the way it works, whenever you gain a treasure... So when you gain a treasure based off the meeting of monster, whoever defeats it, the active player, gets to roll for that. I think whenever we find treasure, though, we both roll. So go ahead and roll your die, and I'll roll my die. Your die is by you. I'm, <laughs> why do you keep coming for mine? Ooh, I got a 13. You know what? I, I got a 17. I really like the ninja a lot, a one. Luke. It's... My all-time, you missed it at the beginning. The ninja is like my new all-time favorite dice throne character because they have lots of options to re-roll stuff as you're playing. I just really, really like this character. That gave us four. I think, honestly, that Trent is probably the best character to bring in here, but I played them once, and I just like being able to do a ton of damage, and I haven't figured that character out yet, so I've, I went with the internet. And four the internet, what? if I die, it's the internet's fault. Four life? No, we gained four gold total. I gained one gold, you gained three gold. What do I do with that gold? We, you just put it over there. Are you? Um, is it like a mutual gold establishment? Is that there's is half of that gold mine or all the gold mine? Because I put the majority of it in there. <laughs> you can play this with four people, and there's one gold dial. So what does that tell you? If there's four people, hey, look at me, focus up. If there's four people that you could have in your campaign, and you have one gold dial, but you have four gold dice, what does that tell you about this one gold dial? And it's party No, it's gold. all mine. That's what that tells me. Tell well, me that's all my gold in that dial. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to have to mine. see that. Nope. <laughs> that's mine over here on my side. Why are you like this? <laughs> we kind of spawn a villain. We actually did that a little bit, Luke. So what we ended up doing was I asked on Facebook and on YouTube and kind of just asked people which ones to play. And the majority of the votes came in. Pyromancer was one of the most voted for. And then, of course, I knew she was going to play Ninja because it was new. So this is a Goblin Enchanter. They do gain first strike, so they get to roll right away. Oh, you know what's cool? And they have 10. I've oh. actually, Manny drew this one live. You could watch, if you go to Manny's page, Manny Tremblay, and look, you can see him drawing that character oh, live. Oh, that's awesome. I watched him draw that. <laughs> I like, it's like a joint bank account, says Reckles. Well, kind of. I will have the only password to that, okay? <laughs> But like Scrooge McDuck, McDuck and put your gold in a vault. Well, if I had enough gold to put in a vault, I would. Although I would not swim around in it. It's probably not good for you. I would. I don't even care. <laughs> It'd be worth it. All right. It is your turn. So you've done that. So you've already discovered the minion. He gets first strike. So he gets to hit me first. Where does it say first strike? It says on this thing, this minion gains first strike. Oh. Lame. I know. Right? I don't want to come help you then. First strike. So let me put it on him or off. What's that supposed to mean? I don't want to come help you. I have three health. Do you oh, want me to come help never you? Never mind. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> never mind. She's like, well, why? So what happens if you die? You can spend a salve and that'll bring me back to one health. But I'll be at one health. So that only... does not seem worth it. <laughs> Quava says, I got my shipping notification tonight. Congratulations. We can't wait for oh, it to nice. arrive at your house. Yeah, I actually you feel so much really fun. lucky because I was complaining on the Dice Throne mm -hmm. Facebook group, which is like 7,000, 8,000 people. And I was like, I always get picked last for these things. They always show up last because when Dwellings got done, as you all know, like I knew four or five other people in Arizona that had gotten it already. And I was like, where's my copy? But with this one, I got it like right away. You need to roll for that bad guy first. Okay. Because he has first strike. What's he trying he to get? He has the first thing He's of the striking. He's trying to get a... A All the slash. things I don't want. Oh, like oh did he just roll things? it like that yep. right now? That's right. That's it. That's what he wanted. That's and that's probably what he got. Fine. That's probably fine. Four, undefeatable damage. Your opponent discards one card randomly. Oh, no. ouch. Why? Why? So rude. Jay Peters, maybe they'll send it to you like by mystery mail where you'll get it and you'll, you, you won't realize it's coming to you. That happened. All right. Oh my gosh. Don't look at that card. I'm, I'm reshuffling these. You know we're on the same team, right? Okay, go I, ahead and pick. I really worry about you sometimes. What, what card did you take from my hand? Better deal. No! <laughs> Why? Why did you wound me like that, doctor? 
All right. I'm I don't think she understands. <laughs> that it's not turn. me. It's that goblin enchanter. And I don't know why she's that guy putting is a jerk. your feelings for that goblin enchanter onto me because I didn't do jerk. anything. You literally so said, angry right hey, now. doctor, pick one of these. And then I did. And that was your you fault. You know what? No, no. Shuffle better. Let's not stand. <laughs> All right. I don't know if there's a game that we were super hyped about that we got let down of, let down on whenever we actually got it. There's been some that we played a couple times and then we decided that maybe it doesn't work for us. But, like, uh, for example, like Red Outpost. I enjoyed the game, but there, when you're playing it two-player, it is very much take that kind of where you're messing with other people's morale and everything. And so it, it's not going to stay in our collection. We ended up actually passing it on to somebody else who plays more games like that with his wife. We tend to stay away from those. Oh, wait. I'm going to do a smoke screen. If you haven't noticed, we don't do a lot of just straight-up dueling games. Although, we're this week, we're doing this, and then we're playing Unmatched on Thursday with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which will be pretty cool. And that is a dueling game. And she's okay with that one because she gets to play as Spike and Drusilla. <laughs> That's right. I can't wait. <laughs> So I'm gonna. It says chosen player gets smoke bomb and two ninjutsu, which I'm actually gonna give you, because smoke bomb lets you avoid damage if you roll a one, two, a three. So that's gonna give you smoke bomb. Okay, and so then just... ninjutsu is going to. I didn't. I don't know if you know this, but you're basically like a, a pyromancer. Ninja, pyromancer. Yeah, ninja. I taught you some things back in the day, okay? <laughs> and those are going to help give you damage after you t you attack. So you can spend them to modify your attack roll. Nice. I've All always right. been really good at that. And it just says chosen player, so sweet. Yeah, and then it also says chosen opponent is inflicted with delayed poison. And delayed poison, you receive three damage at the end of your turn. At the end of their turn, or, yeah. Yeah, at the end mm -hmm. of their turn. And then the player afflicted with this token removes the it at the conclusion of their turn when they receive the three damage. So... So they just get their turn first, but then they'll take the three damage. Yikes. I probably should not come over there and help you, though, still, honestly. Probably not. But did I take my damage? No, it was just the card. Never mind. Okay. So that's what you did on your turn? So you yes. didn't do anything to them that would trigger a defensive roll, then? No, I didn't. But okay. I did put the smoke bombs on there and the ninjutsus. I taught you ninjutsus stuff like Mr. Miyagi up in there. I was like, wow. Should I go off and try to get this other What's one? Up? Because I don't want to come in here with first strike. I would rather come up here, I think. See you later, Luke. Have a good night. Let's see here. You would think the pyromancer would put off his own smoke and not have to be provided smoke from some ninja. Wow. Wow, Jay Peters. Um, what are you trying to say about my smoke wow. right now? Okay? Remove all my... status effects from yourself. You may pay two to place one from your discard pile into your hand. Remove all... No! <laughs> it's a void crater. What? So hold on. So, all status what? effects. That's all positive. That's what? all of them. Yeah. What? Doctor, what just happened? Why do you what keep coming happened? to me? I didn't print this card. You realize <laughs> that, right? I this did not print this randomly generated card. The worst <coughs> adventure ever. So we're, we are bad adventures. We're bad. No, I'm pretty sure the we're adventuring really party of Bilbo Baggins did much worse. <laughs> so, yeah, that stinks because that was all the fire. That was your invulnerability. So, yeah, yeah. Level one um, minion, please. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, take these back. Now, I can pay two CP to get a card back, but I don't think... What could I even get back? Just take those back there. Totally fine. Can you give me a level one minion, please, and stop... Right. <laughs> Gosh. That was a That's the difference. That was At terrible. least as a pyromancer, if I die, I'll go out in a fiery inferno. All right. Here, take your level one minion. There you go. So, delayed poison sounds like it should kill you after you're already dead. <laughs> yeah. So, here's the deal. This fairy has first strike. Oh, no. <laughs> fairy. Oh, gosh. You. And they do, like, undefendable damage. That fairy. Or... Yeah, this is really bad. I might die right now. Looks not so happy. How much life do they have? They have nine life, though. So, minion battle. If they are engaged, right? So, mm -hmm. we're going to have that character also. Did you do any damage to your person? No, you didn't. No, did you? I was busy trying to protect you like a good adventure. And you missed so much, Jim. So much. I, we're going to have to start over at this point. It's coming, okay? <laughs> So here's the thing. So the way it goes is it goes spend south, then first strike, then hero or minion step, depending on how that works, okay. right? 
So we're going to do spin south, yeah. which is going to be three, four, but, five. Because no, but we, found we have two shard things, right? Three, or four, five, five, because we found two shard things. Okay. That's, that's like, is that how math works? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> So I'm going to go back up to eight at least, which is something. This is not the fairy that you would want to clap to revive. This no. is not that type of fairy at all. <laughs> all right. So they're trying to roll straight. And they got four, five, six. That's already a micro straight, which they actually can get a micro. So three. And so uh, they got a micro. What? Well, that's actually good. So micro is two undefendable damage. So it's still, I'm not dead. And now it's my turn. And now I just have to kill them in one shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this. You got this. Well, normally I'd have to remind myself no that I technically lose a fire mastery each turn, but that's not a thing that I have to worry Is about. Is there a place where we can heal? I don't know. Maybe if we find a tile. I need, we need like a healing spring or... I'm pretty sure that's what the salves are for, and I've already used two of them, so... Can I use a salve on you? Um, I don't know. I don't know how that works. This are you going to burn it down? Bunk. Oh, you are not burning it down. <laughs> See, like that would have been great if I still had all my fire mastery, but I don't. So I've got one, two, four, and six. None of that is actually great. I can't believe you lost all that stuff on you. Like that was just terrible. As a recap, Jim, the doctor was set up with invulnerability and some ninjutsu and a whole bunch of fire stuff well, it on wasn't, them. It wasn't invulnerability. It was a 50-50 chance of me being able to just smoke my bomb my way out of there. You were set up with some sweet, sweet buff. And then you went into the void crater and poof, no more. <laughs> no more buffs. <laughs> Studio Anison says, ha, my Kickstarter got delivered. But it's not Dice Throne. <laughs> what was it? Now I'm curious. <laughs> All right, so I've got three, four, five, six, which is hot streak, which is good. All right, so I have okay. hot streak. So hot streak will say gain two fire mastery, then deal six damage plus one per fire mastery. So I'm going to do like nine. I'm going to do eight damage. One short. <sighs> one short. Yeah, and there's no way for you to kill them wow. and come help out. Um. Yeah, so... The doctor was like one life away from dying. I was like, all right, I'm going to give you some smoke screen. You're going to get this stuff. And it was just, it did not work out. Oh, GPS, Sequoia, and Mountain Goat. So we have Mountain Goats, and I want, haven't played it yet. I want to play it. It looks adorable. I opened the box. It looks adorable. I'm ready to do it. All right, I'm going to actually play that. Yes. So that's going to be red hot. So add one fire, yes. one damage for fire mastery. So it's going to be a total of get four wrecked, damage. Fairy. Well, they get a chance to roll defensive. You always forget that part. Get, well, it doesn't exclude the fact that I still want them to get wrecked. If they get the double yellow things, which they got, they prevent three damage. Why are you Sweet. like this, fairy? So I did six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They protect three, so they're going to take seven Plus, you did the card too. I thought the, that card is why they're taking seven. Oh. So, because they weren't going to die, they were going to go down to eight, and then I did the card, and so yeah. <gasps> I hope there's an add-on for mountain goats that lets you play screaming goats. Are we? I just want the goats that fall over whenever you scare them. That's what I want. <laughs> Jay Peter says excavation earth just showed up a few days ago for me. Ooh, that's nice. We. Well, actually, I had a had a painting show up today from the same people that make like that over there, that wall thing over there, and some of the other art stuff. And it's a um, Nolan Nasser. He does a bunch of art, board game art and stuff. And we did like his little play mats and everything. So I was excited about that. It is your go. All right. I'm still alive. Ooh, Valor and Villainy appeared out of the ether on my doorstep. Yes. I love oh, nice. it. We played Valor and Villainy again, like, the other day. It's so good. I love it so much. All right, game CP. Yeah, I forgot to game my CP and draw a card, so I did it, like, at the end. And I'm, like a noob. I'm drawing a card. Okay. Do it. Do what? Do your Vegas, baby. My Vegas baby. Mm -hmm. Roll one and then gain half the value of CP rounded up. Okay. 
I mean, there's no reason not to. I guess that's true, because it costs zero. So three. Nice. That's a lot of CP. Oh, yeah. I'm so CP rich right now. Could you do some kind of thing where you, like, spin around and you do damage to everybody you see? That would be really nice, right? Like, like you just throw daggers everywhere? <laughs> I think what I'm going to do... Um... I kind of want to do this. Okay, so I'm going to put my Shadow Fang Remember, out. we can't help each other. So if you have something in the future, like something that's wild or something, and I'm trying to get something, we could talk about that. Okay. Use cards on each other. And I'm putting my Shadow Fang thing out here. I'm going to do my roll. Oh, wait, they have first strike. Yeah. So give me a strike. It's not in the face, okay? So, so, the, <laughs> so you did delayed poison, so they you did that on your turn now, right? Okay. Well, they'll get delayed poison after they strike here. Yeah. I don't know why you have me roll these. Like, I roll, like, murder Yeah, whenever. if you could just, like, not hurt yeah, me. I told you not in the face, so... I totally forgot to roll a die. That's fine. Oh, you didn't get it this time. There we go. You actually, yeah, you missed it. Oh, too bad. Aww. So they're going to take three because of this. So take that back. Or does it stay? No, it goes. Okay, then take it back. I hand it back to you. All right, let's do this. we got to save the doctor. Got to save the... Oh, what's happening? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So? You don't have one, two, three, four. You have one, two, three. That might kill them as long as they don't Well, defend. on three of a kind numbers, I can gain in jitsu here. So that Remember, would be nice. you can still roll that six like two more times too. If it's no, I know. Something. I was just looking at, I'm, t I'm taking inventory of what I'm doing here. So I think I'm just going to go for this, this time. Because I rolled so many swords. <coughs> Excuse me. Should I take it or should I try rolling again? It's like how dangerous do we want to be today? Uh, take it because you want to do as much damage as you, you want to kill that person. They have seven health. You don't want to do six health to them. You want to do eight damage to All them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this then. All right, so they're going to get damage. their super fantastic eight defensive damage, roll. Have you been able to say what the other Roxley game is? They pushed it back a week. So I will not be able to say until I think it's the end of, or until next week. So whenever they announce it, then I'm able to talk about it. So, but it will be this month. <laughs> so you did kill them, but they gave you poison. So oh, you're poison. come on now. And you get to roll the Whoa. die. Roll your die. Try not to steal I mine. I can say that the other game matches my hair. It's quite lovely. A 14. You can't actually say that. I can't actually. Oh, never mind. Nobody heard One that, gold. okay? <laughs> One gold. One gold. I'm putting that in my pocket. No, you're not. <laughs> All right, so is it my turn then? It is. It is. Do you remember what poison does to you? At the end of my turn, I take damage, right? No, it's it's a little bit different. You take one damage per poison token during your upkeep. Oh, on my upkeep? Okay, yeah, and it's so persistent. at the start of my turn then. And it stays there. So it's super annoying. What if I transfer a status effect from a player to another chosen player? Would that help? Uh, would that be helpful? Yeah, it would be great if, you had, if we could do two of them, because then we could just kill that person just by, just by that. Transfer it over to him. Why not? You don't want it. Well, it says from a player to another chosen player. Yeah, that you can transfer it to the bad guy. All right, well, let's do that. So we'll put it on the bad guy. So the bad guy's upkeep phase, they will take one. So if for some reason I die, they'll die soon also. <laughs> All right, so they're going to go ahead and attack me. Well, it's on their upkeep. Isn't it like their upkeep in the beginning? Yeah, why'd you steal the bad guy's Because dice? I like those dice. <laughs> so... I just did a damage to them, okay. so they're at one. They That's during their that. upkeep. Okay. They they I want to make sure damage. that you're you're here with me. You're here with me right now. Sorry, what? Exactly. <laughs> the straights. So they got a four, a six, a two, a three. So two, three, four. They'll keep that. And two, three, four. That's all they got. I like how the bad guys. So two want... undefendable. Dang it! I want them to actually do one that I can block, so I could potentially like do something back to them. You know. I like how the bad guys though have different things that they end up doing. It's not like you're rolling the same sort of. You don't have the same sort of roll situation for each. 
yeah. bad guy, you know? All right, so I draw my card. I gain my CP. Ooh, that lets me draw a bunch of cards. I am going to lose one Fire Mastery. Those are the bad guy dice. I'm not going to roll them like somebody. <laughs> All right, so we got six, four, five, six. I keep getting a lot of this, this business Four, five, here. six? Yeah, four, five, sixes, which is not bad That's necessarily. That's good, right? What else do I have here? What options do I have? These, I keep getting these guys, and they don't seem to be doing what I want, but I could do, that's a thing. So that's gain one Fire Master, then remove up to four Fire Master tokens and deal three undefendable damage per token. I'm just going to be easy. I'm going to take this, I'm going to gain a Fire Mastery, and then remove up to four. I'm going to remove one and do three undefendable damage that will kill them. That's good. I like how this one right here is just the symbol, like one of each symbol. That's cool. Yeah. Well, it's right. There's still another symbol in there. There doesn't, or no, I guess there's one of each type that you can get. All right, so they died. Thankfully, they lose that poison. I'm going to roll my die. Come on, health. Like, I need to get like a, <laughs> nope, I gained a gold. Jay Peters asked, does the adventure sca scale well based on the number of players? Yes. So you get like, I want to say like you get like 20 something health if you're playing it solo. If you're playing with two players, you get like 18. If you play it with like three players, you go down to like, 12 health and then if you play like four players i think you get like eight health or something like that oh my god so yeah you're like you better really be working together with cards and everything <sighs> to get each other do we get awards for defeating the most minions and everything all right so we did that we gained gold which is good so it is now your turn all right, I'm so you get have to the move heck and out explore. Of here. you could spend a salve if you wanted to right now well, so you could spend a salve and move and then explore oh we probably need this other piece over here huh we literally do need that other piece like it is the objective of the game. So I should probably go here. <laughs> sure. What is this? So we're going to gain a, a gold. It's a volcanic sprout. Active player discards a positive status effect. Receive two damage. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. I don't, oh wait, no. I guess, would a salve be a positive? No, okay. it Ooh. is not. So it's not a status <laughs> effect. Joke's on you. <laughs> well, what's really funny is that it's a volcanic sprout. I would have thought it was a spout. But in your world, it's a sprout, like a little tree. It is. It is a volcanic sprout. There's... A spout. <laughs> oh, dang it. Gotcha. Okay, to be fair, the P looked a lot like, the, uh, like an R, right, everybody? Then Look at this. Look at this. Sprout. No, S, a sprout. S-R-O-U-T, oh, sprout. dang it. And dang it. I was not paying attention, okay? <laughs> sprout. Listen, when I'm losing... I took the two damage, the so... The only thing I can do is talk about her pronunciation. <laughs> like, I'm really good at it for some reason. I'm not. Oh, okay. my god! Here's the deal. Level one mini. What do we have? It's a wandering ronin. That does not sound super great. Is that a wandering ronin or a wandering ponin? No, he's a wandering like, ronin, Like, he just runs sure. around poning people? He's like, pwned. <laughs> pwned. He has first strike. No. It's okay. I planted some bean sprouts last spring. There you go. <laughs> Was it a bean sprout? Now, if beans? you were playing with the tree, they do have sprouts. Sprout. No. Bean sprouts. Or do they have spirit? I don't remember. They want these things. If you could just not roll those things. Why do you let me keep good. rolling? I don't know why. Oh, there you gosh. Go. Doctor. The deal seven damage on a four of a kind gain backstrike. Do we have four of a kind? How much damage? Just, seven? Just seven. Why? I get to do the thing, the defense, right? Yeah. Your defense. What the heck is wrong with you, Doctor? Are you even playing this cooperative game with me? I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset. Where did this go wrong? Okay, in chat, please just tell me the exact moment on where this went wrong. Like this adventure. Don't keep pointing at me. I can see you pointing at me right now, Doctor. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, okay. So I may re-roll one of these dice. So... Right now, I have four damage that I'm doing to them, so I'm going to re-roll this one. That one does one damage. Right, but I can re-roll one, so maybe I can get another two damage? Sure. I mean, it's one damage. I can either get, like, two damage, or I can get... There we go. Two, four, six. Six, six damage. Yeah. Wandering Ronin, take your six damage. You take your seven. Oh. Don't talk to me like that. He just pissed oh, you hard. Oh, gosh. Should I come in there and help you? I don't think so. That yeah. just, that was terrible. Seven damage? It's like one enough just to make me go to nine. 
That's yep. That's how math works. Not cool. All right. <laughs> that's on my, cool. On my turn, I'm gonna actually go down and up and actually try to clear right here. Seems like the game almost punishes you for sticking together, says Studio Lannison Co-op. You keep using that word, but I do not think you know. <laughs> so we have I not think scorched, you know it means. scorched dessert or Wait, desert. I didn't, I haven't attacked this Ronin or anything. Oh you did first God. strike on me and like, that was it. All right, go then. You could just Sorry. I don't know what you're doing. You're over down. here. You're over here writing in your diary or something. Take your turn. <laughs> it went wrong when this sprout showed up and opened up a can of whoops. There you go. <laughs> I get so distracted by you because you like just start doing something completely different. I have to I'm... take my CP. Right. Well, that's what I'm I saying. I have to draw my card. You're and very unfocused for someone who's on used a, a life or death adventure. Should I have used myself? No, you're at nine health. I'm I feeling you a little dangerous. I'm feeling a little danger. This is why she's danger out there. This is why you don't go on adventures. <laughs> oh man, I only have nine health. <gasps> Okay, this seems nice. This seems nice. Okay, I like what I'm Do you have like a bunch I'm of cards seeing. like not this like... time you could have played to like save yourself six health? No, I just drew, drew that card. Thanks, ah. doctor, for thinking that I didn't read my cards. <laughs> All right, we're rolling. How much does let this guy have? Two? I don't know if he did good or not. <laughs> it just seemed like the thing to do. Why are you like this? Doctor, we're supposed to be it's... working together, but he doesn't know what teamwork means. That's not true. <laughs> I know it makes the dream work. I have one more roll and I have nothing, so this is going well. This is going well. I like where this is headed. If you can't somehow do two damage, I'm going to leave the studio. <laughs> <sighs> oh. You almost have misdirect, which is gain smoke bomb and deal two undefendable damage. Go for that one. <clears throat> you just need <clears throat> one more. You need to keep two of those and one of those. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm just, I noticed it. I'm not trying to play your stuff. But if you roll another white one, which, a white sword, which there's three of your die phases are white swords. You have a 50-50 chance on both of those. I think I'm going to go for this one. Which one? The Why? shade walk. Oh, Okay. That's a six, though. You'd have to roll. So there's a one in six chance. That one has a... You only need to do two damage to kill him. You know this, right? The fact that you got it is upsetting. <laughs> but you also got what I wanted you to get, too. So it would have worked either way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are you just like so stressed? Okay, I gained smoke bomb. This Boom. is exactly what you did when we played Reichbusters out of this world. And, and you were just a hot mess. And you just ran around like, wee, wee. And I'm like, we're going to die if you, and you're like, wee. And you just lucked your way through that whole scenario. Six damage. Do it. Do it. I want to see negative damage out of that guy. <laughs> Give me that. Technically, Give me that, that delayed poison, wouldn't he have just died anyways? All right, anyways, roll your you die. Know what? What matters is... I'm going to join the bad guy side. <laughs> I'm joining them. I need a reroll. That fell out of my hand. No, it didn't. You get it a, was a two. You get a plus one. <laughs> That's a plus one damage modifier you get. Oh, my goodness, everyone. Don't ever tell me the odds, <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm sorry, everyone. It's like a co-op adventure. I just feel like you're like somehow just wandering like through this, not like a drunk or something. Adventure. This is like a co-op. Like I, we don't know where we are in the forest, and we're just kind of stumbling around. But we're killing stuff, so she is generally so it's working right out. Now. She's a total Gretel. What? I'm Hansel all what? the way. Hansel's so hot right now. All right. So as I was saying, Scorched Desert. We gained a gold, and then any hero, uh, any any hero discards itself. Alternately roll. Any hero discards a self, so we have to discard a self, which what? means you. You've got one. No. No, I just we do have to. That's just the it thing. It says alternatively roll one die, right? Well, you can roll one die, and then you can on one two game burn and discard one card. A three to four receives six damage, or on a five to six I gain a treasure. I was gonna use that self. <laughs> hey, let's just do whatever. Let's just do whatever. I got a four. No, no, no. No, no I'm I didn't. Rid of this Cell. No, I did whatever like you do all the time, and that would kill me. Well, I'm getting rid of the cell nope. for you. Nope, nope. I Are don't you want dying? 
What's yep, happening I'm gonna right now? Die. <laughs> I'm gonna die because that's how I want to roll. Because you're just I want to watch you guys play making village. me mad. I want to watch you guys play Village Attacks now. Did you buy or did you back Grim Dynasty expansion by any chance? No, we did not. Yes. I'm gonna have to look I look for that. So I'm gonna play not this time to defend myself <laughs> from that. See, you I feel had like I'm control. playing against you. You had it under like. control. <laughs> Somehow I feel like I'm playing against you, and I don't know why. I like this better when oh I just get to beat God. you up, I think. Jay Peter says Marco Polo. Marco Polo. That's how we can find each other. Marco. Can you please give me a level one minion? I'd Is that in not. your capabilities? I'd rather you not. If you could stop spawning the minions in the forest, what are you doing spawning so many minions in the forest? Like, Dr. Glory Hog, this has a three out of eight chance. This one has a two out of six chance. Or we can do this one out of four chance. Glory Hound, that's a pretty color. Whee! Yep. <laughs> Serpentine. She's got Venom's Kiss. At this point, I'm just going to let her kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're so tactical, and then we start oh playing God. a game like this, and you're like, where there's dice, and you're just like, whoa, I do whatever I want. I do whatever I want. This is a fantastic picture. I love this. This snake lady looks amazing. They want that. They want that. They want that. Sweet. She first strike? No, I don't know why I'm rolling for I, her. What are you what are you doing? I don't know. I did it though. So shh. <laughs> all right, my turn. You're see, you're like over here so crazy. You got me all confuzzled or whatever they'd call that. Confuzzled? I don't even know right now. Combobulated? No, I'm like gonna seriously join their team for Crumperton? real. I'm seriously thinking about joining their team. I'm not joking. You. Why are you like this, Doctor? <laughs> why can't you just be on my team, okay? <laughs> because you're killing me, Smalls. Like you're doing so much ridiculousness. Oh, here's a good question. How many characters in total are there now? Do you know that answer by any chance? 16. I want to say there's 16. I think there's 8 and 8 now with the ninja and the tramp. Okay. 16 sounds it right. It may or may not be 16, 18, or possibly 20. It's 16. I don't, I don't know. know. Jim says 18 or 20. It's so I'm going to say it's around 0 to 25. It's 16. I'm okay, pretty sure. Okay. All right, hold on. So there's the Pyromancer, the Monk, the Paladin, the Barbarian, the Moon Elf, and who else? There's somebody else, too. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you didn't let I me high-five you. I was trying to think of you. who's in the first one, and then they added the two new ones. I'm pretty sure it's 16. It's not a hill I'm willing to die on, though. Okay. I would like to take my turn. Is that going to be okay with you? I would like okay to for you to go or... ahead and, and wreck them, please. If you could hit them oh, okay. in one shot. They only have okay. nine health. You could do it. Okay, have thank faith you. In you. Thank okay? you for letting me take my turn. I appreciate that. More than a few, says Battlecry. I like that answer. <laughs> I feel like I don't have any more fire mastery. I don't know anymore because my wife has got me to the point where I, I feel drunk. <sighs> oh, that's a lot of fire. You could deal... Not enough to kill them. Six damage right now. It wouldn't kill anybody, though. You got this, Doctor. I have faith in you, okay? I have faith in you to do this. Burn it down. Or look really hard at your character so you could. Are we looking at Pyroblast? Yeah. Six damage and roll one, and then you can add three damage, or you can inflict burn, you can gain two fire mat. That's good, too. They're going to try to hit you, though. I'm going to keep the Pyroblast. Yeah, I want to keep the Pyroblast. Okay. All right, so Pyroblast is six damage. Roll a die. And I got what I wanted. So that's nine damage. That will Ooh. kill them if they can't defend. Calm Dr. Gorehouse was right. Eight in season two. Eight in season one reroll. Boom. So if they got a red, they would inflict damage, uh, inflict poison back. But they did not. So they're going to take a full nine damage and die. Oh yeah. Roll a die. Get out of here. And I got a four, a mighty four, which will give me a plus two, which will be useful for later. Alright, it is your turn. For the love of everything, it is your turn. Are we ready? I everyone? can't tell you how ready I am to be done with this. <laughs> <laughs> you have made this somewhat more stressful. It's not them killing We're going me. Here. It's trying to play with you cooperatively. Which is killing me. I'm gonna die from trying to play this game with you what cooperatively. What the heck, Doctor? Draw two and then discard them. Wait, and then discard them. What? Draw two and then discard them. Unless you, may you pay CP to keep them. Choose 
one CP per card to put these cards back on the top of your deck in any order. Oh. We've seen that one before. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. But there's nothing there. Oh, no, wait. There's a level one monster. There's, like, I think there's always a monster there. Like, oh, have we flipped over one that didn't have one? Let me draw two. Mmm. I like these. Oh, so but. You just got to pay one CP to keep it. If you want to keep it. Well, I like both of them. Oh, the fan of knives is cool, everyone. Take a look at these cards here. Yes, everyone, take a look at those and cards. Those, that fan of, of knives, I'm down with that. You can just deal multiple damage to, like, multiple characters. What's this? Oh, no, a fatal paper cut. <laughs> oh, ow, it burns. <laughs> I kind of dig the the shade shift though because okay. it's okay. always yeah. good. Mm. Yeah, no, With the I agree. The shade shifting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Your analysis is spot on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Here with my defensive roll here, this card here says deal one damage times the sword. So I think on my damage thing, I'm only allowed to do it per one per dice on those until I upgrade to think it. About that. But just as a note to all of you out there, okay? This Always upgrade your defense. You yeah. I agree. I'm going to go ahead and put this one at the bottom. I'm going to pay one CP, put this one here at the top. It was bound to happen one night, Dean. Okay. Glory Hound's playing Dice of Throne Adventures again. Who's the bad guy? Are you ready for this? Yeah, do they have first strike? Last swordsman, on guard. They have on guard. They do not have first okay. strike. This is your go. Okay, so I will draw my card. I will gain... Oh, wait, I didn't pay a CP. You can so do, do it, that, Swordsman. And then I will gain the CP. You can do it, Lost Swordsman. Woo-woo! I'm going to upgrade the defensive roll. Woo, Lost Swordsman! Why are you trying to get me killed at this point, Doctor? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's rude, sir. All right, I did Just that. Just fake a stomachache. I'm roll I, would think, I have a feeling I'm going to be playing this somewhat solo. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, if he's just a lost swordsman, just offer him directions. Be like, listen, I've got GPS on my phone. I can show you how to get there. And well, then he'll go to his destination and leave you alone. I have a, a small straight already. So that seems good, right? It is. Yeah, so you do delayed poison, you do damage. So I need a two. So... I need a two. There you go. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, I dun, suck dun, at dice. Da, 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 da. What Gain do I do? Smoke Gain bomb, smoke bomb, two ninjutsu, two ninjutsu, and eight damage. Pew, pew. Eight damage. Okay, so I can use the ninjutsu, ninjutsu now that I have it. So what does it do? After attacking a player with this token, can spend to roll one, and then I'm going to try to add damage on. So I'm going to spend one of these. How much damage? It matters, whoops, by what I roll. Should have kept that five. <laughs> on a one to three, I add one damage. On a four to five, I add two damage. On a six, I either add two damage or I inflict a delayed poison or make my attack undefendable. Nice. So that thing. Oh, this is a hard choice, though, because did yeah. you give your smoke to Dr. Glory Hog? I did not. She, I don't think she can for that. I can't. The special one that allowed me to give my smoke to him was like some sort it's of said to any card. Player. Yeah, the card that I flipped over for them. It's this one right here, smoke screen. It there we go. Smoke screen, that one, yeah. Smoke bomb. But whenever I gain it, I have to gain it. So what do we want to do? So if you make it undefendable, he doesn't get to roll back at you, and he just takes the full damage, which is kind of nice. It is kind of nice. Should I do that, even though he's going to try to hit me? Or do you want to put... Well, or, what you don't want him to do is prevent it. You can give him the delayed poison, but if he prevents any of it, then you're going to be I'm going to deal sad. eight damage, and then whatever else I put on. So eight, nine, ten, that's not enough for just to take the two damage, plus he could defend against it. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the undefendable, I think. So just eight damage to him? Yeah, just eight damage to him. It goes down to three. I mean, if there was somebody else over here helping attack, then we could probably get him burnt down quicker, but I don't know. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I've killed everybody I fought, so. <laughs> so am I. So am I. So am I. So am I. <laughs> it's not 
small it's an average size first base. That's fair. Mm, all right, are you done with your <laughs> turn then? I think so, because I don't have any. Because this lost swordsman's oh, wait, wait, ready wait. to murder. Hold on, I have this plus one. He's at three, so unless you're gonna kill him, I don't know. All right, that's fair. <laughs> lost swordsman coming at you, and he's got this that he wants, and this, and this. <laughs> I was, talk this? I was oh, talking yeah. about... Oh, yeah. Oh, he did his maximum damage on you again. In regard Seven to Dr. Points. Glory Hog, I was saying, it, it feels like you were playing solo, but you were also supplying him with stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. that's a burn. <laughs> All right, take seven damage. I would prefer not to. I think I will do smoke screen. Get lucky, I guess. <laughs> that's not your die. Oh, get out of there, you... All right. That is not a smoke screen, I think. So, uh, they spent roll one die. If the outcome is a one to three, no damage is received, although other associated effects may still apply. So, you still take your damage, seven. So, do your defensive roll. That's roll. upsetting. Do your defensive roll. And your smoke screen's defense, gone, right? Defense, 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 defense. So you're gonna get what? One damage, two, three damage, three damage. I maybe roll up to two of the dice too. It's up to you. You could try to roll for what's the double sixes give you? Gain smoke bomb. So that'll help you out later. Maybe if I roll it. Right. So on a star, I deal two damage. Mm -hmm. Still just one. I could do, do the two damage plus the one and just get rid of them, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do can. that. Yeah, do I'm that. using the shuriken and well, the I don't plus think you even one. need to because it's a star will give you two, and then you deal one for every All right. sword. So you're just doing three. Get rid of him. All right, so he does die. Get rid of him. It's about time. Roll I want to see his face roll after your hitting me. Die, please. Seven, six, five. Wait, no, seven, eight, nine, two. I'm down to two health. I may have to use a salve, everybody. I'm at four health, so this if, is fine. Why is this adventure turning out to be so hard? I got a six. Six Come gives on, you health. one CP. It's a very small section of it. Come you have to get like a nine or a ten. <laughs> nine or ten is where you want to be at, apparently. All right, is it my turn? It is your turn, I guess. So either way, I'm fighting a level two monster, so I guess I'll come be down here by you, so maybe we can die together. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But this is the last piece, so we could like try to get out of here now. Now we could try to go up there. Potentially. I like how they all fit right this here. This says... Pensive bath. Roll one die. So I'm going to roll one die. And then Ooh, is it going to be a little warm water? You give six. yourself a little so water? Says, on a one to three, gain parasite. Ooh. On a four to five, heal four. What? On a six, all heroes roll three. You want to just heal three? Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Pensive bath. It what about that warm. parasite? That's not cool. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to know what that does. Ha like, what is that about? Don't ask. I'm at what seven does the now. Do? Clearly, it's the teamwork. <laughs> An easy adventure would be if it's boring, though. Can you so give studio. me a level two minion, please? No. Why are you like this? Why are you off fighting things that you shouldn't be fighting? We don't have first a try. choice. I'm kidding. No, first try. You have to fight. You know this, right? You can't just be like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. So it's got 15 health. The drag beast. That's pretty good. Okay, so if you, chat, if you're saying. Chat. Dreg beast. Chat. Is it a dreg beast or is it dreg beast? Or is it dredge? Dredge. But there's no dreg. Dreg. Dreg beast. It's more like Greg beast. Oh! Hashtag free Greg. <laughs> Should I gain my... I'm going to gain my CP and draw my card because I know how to play. Where is my card? Where are we my cards? We actually saw Greg the other day. Like, he came to our house for all of five minutes to pick up a game. And we threw it out the door at him. <laughs> we were like, get off our lawn. <laughs> now, we haven't set, saw Greg in, well, since, like, the pandemic, you know, got started and everything. So it was nice to actually, like, be able to very safely, with masks on, six feet away, talk to him. It was kind of nice. <laughs> I agree. They need a teamwork coach up from Nick Saban. <laughs> Making friends is never an option with Dr. Glory Hogg. His name is Greg Beast. He just stays. He just says it with an accent. <laughs> Which one are you going for, Doctor? 
I don't even know right now. You're just rolling. You're weighing it. You could do the combustion it's a again. Small we're, straight. We're still fighting that Greg beast. He's has so much life. So I'm I have not a happy. small straight. Can someone technically be a dungeon master and pick what monsters the heroes battle? I mean, I guess you could. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm going to show you all the tray that we have here. You could go through it uh, and pick. So three, four, five, six. That's going to be a hot streak. Gain two fire mastery. Deal six damage plus one per fire mastery. So that's going to be six, seven, eight damage. So you can just pull things here from the tray. I feel like I'm the dungeon master since I'm basically doing everything. Sorry, they're all labeled on the sides there. So you can pull what you need. So they want to. Keep or you can take a peek and pull whatever you think might be best to suit the situation, especially if you're playing. Maybe with some kids or something like that, or you want the story to progress in a little bit different way. I always feel like bending the rules in a game to make gameplay more fun for people isn't, it's not like the worst thing. Like, why not? If you're going to have some kids come in and you want them to have a fantastic adventure and they start dying and Give stuff like that. Give them all first strike and kill them. There you go. <laughs> all right. So they, f they failed their attack on me. Oh, that's good. Right? Yeah. Which is good. And But you gave them the chops, right? No, wait, I'm doing this. Oh, you gave him the fiery chops? Yeah, I wasn't no, watching so what you were doing. Yeah, I don't know either. So they failed, and I we, we lost the gold because of it. Because what? their passive is we lose gold if they don't get to do their attack. What? Oh, no. No. I don't think so. Doctor? It's your turn. I just healed you for three. I no, don't no. make the no, no. rules of no, no. this. No, I'm saying that Greg Beast just stole our freaking money. Yeah, just like real Greg, which is why he no longer shows up. <laughs> I am so freaking angry right now. He just stole our gold. Greg stole a quarter from me one time, and I have never forgotten. I want my quarterback, Greg. The heck, Greg. <laughs> all right. Take your turn, please. For the love of all that is holy. Where is this Greg beast at? Right, He's right here? In the pensive bath. All right, I'm coming in here. I'm coming in this bath area. I don't know if this I want to. This bath area bath. has parasites, and I'm sure it's because of the Greg beast. I really oh, wait, I gotta get my CP. I don't think stuff. the pyromancer would want to be in a in a bath. <laughs> They're just against baths. Oh, I'm gonna train and gain ninjutsu. ninjutsu. Yes, please. Okay, what else do I have here that's gonna be good? What is going to be helpful? Let me see. Mm. All right. Let's do a roll. Stone, stone. Quarterback, Greg. <laughs> Doctor just gave up the pin code on the joint bank account. Why? Why is he like this, Jay Peters? I knew I shouldn't have trusted him with the codes. <laughs> All right, so I can do smoke screen. Okay, he has seven, though, so maybe not so smoke screen. That would not be good. Walk the line is roll two and deal damage equal. Whoa, sorry, that was four. Uh, equal roll. Hold on, roll two and deal the damage equal to the total roll value. May you may re-roll one of these dice. This is what I'm talking about. The ninja that I really like. If the final roll value is six or less, then the attack becomes undefendable. It's a good one. That's really nice, right? I like walk the line. I think I may try to go for that one. Walk hard. Oh, you don't even have it yet, and you're talking about it? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm halfway there. <laughs> this okay. is my first roll. You're like Bon Jovi. I could do there. Death Blossom. Oh. And if I do Death Blossom, when I roll other stuff, then, like, stuff happens. I'm I don't pretty know. close to that. I'm not trying to help you anymore. You're a mess. Why are you like this? I'm a mess. <laughs> I mean, all of these seem like they're really We're good. We're fighting in the same bath, and I'm like, I don't know her. <laughs> there you go. You actually got your death block, or oh, your walk the line. Oh, yeah. Walk in the line. Walk in the line. Okay. Roll two, and then deal damage equal to the total roll value. How did I get both of those? Okay. I don't know. Why are you stealing my D20? I don't know. I'm just stealing all the dice. I keep on just collecting them. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. Do. You see them, and you do scoop them over. Okay. I got a four and a one, and I may re-roll one of these dice. So maybe re-roll that one. I'm definitely going to re-roll that one. You got it's a one. It's tilted on its side. I mean, it's it is one. tilted, everyone, right? 
That's a one. Uh, add your it's plus... undefendable, though. Add your plus one to it. And do right. six, I guess. Six undefendable damage. So they're, like, so almost dead, they're at one health. And now they get to attack you, and they are going to drag you I to hope death. they just... I hope they just, like... Forget Ooh, what they're doing, and they, they attack literally the wrong just person. got their thing that no. they needed off the first roll. <laughs> and it says deal six undefendable damage. Six what if all... I have a card that says not this time? Can Do I it. use that? Yes, okay, I'm gonna can. use that. I'm gonna use this. It's chosen prevents six incoming damage. Yeah, because you would have died. Yeah, we're gonna do that. All right. Not this time. <laughs> Proud of yourself? Oh, I could have done ninjutsu on him. We'll do your ninjutsu. Too late now. Too late. Save it. No, no. I'm, oh, gosh. Save it, because I'm going to be able to kill him on my turn. I need to do one damage, like, and then I'll get the loot. No, so good. because I feel like I'll you're kind of just swooping in off on my kill. I literally did all the first initial damage. You're I did eight damage to them. You're swooping in on my kill. You I could have wrecked Greg. Damage. You did Listen, six I, damage. Listen, I could have wrecked Greg. Maybe. <laughs> There's no way to know for sure. Where'd all my cards go? Did I throw all my cards off the table? <laughs> I did. Like, because you got really mad? Did you just throw them everywhere? I bumped what them off. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. You're just... Doctor, are you okay? No, I am not. <laughs> Should I do happening? transference and just transfer that south to me? Nope. Won't do that. Thought about it. Won't do it. All right, so I lose a fire mastery. Why do you like this? This is supposed to be cooperative. <laughs> it's supposed to be cooperative. Mm. <laughs> do I want do this. I'm going to actually, before I roll, I'm going to sell this burning soul. And then I'm going to do that You're one. just, like, selling souls now? I'm just upgrading my, my other straight, since I keep going for those. Swoop! There it is! <laughs> Swoop! There it is! That's what doctor's oh, singing course. right now. Did I just get burning soul? That would have been good if I wouldn't have just thrown it away! That's four, five, six, though. Gain two fire master, deal one collateral damage to all opponents. I mean, that would just no. kill them. No. Not an opponent. Oh, okay. I was like, uh, no thank you. I mean, I guess I'll just take the weenie way out, because that's what you would do. And I'll just gain two fire master and do one collateral to all opponents. Wait, how would I, how is that the weenie, what, why is that what I would do? That's what you would do. Why is that, I just laid on a huge damage to that Greg. And this is the thanks I get while we're traveling together in this adventure. Well, okay, so here's the only problem. He could potentially actually probably go for a full kill because the problem is they can potentially block it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you think you want to just go for the easy route, but just even though you're doing, unless you're doing undefendable, they can still come back and do some stuff. So, so there's a three. That's my small straight. Ooh. A two? Not ah. a two. Still a small straight, so it's, Six damage, so I gain two fire mastery, and I'm going to do six damage plus one for each, so that's six, seven, eight, nine. They, I have a, a feeling they won't be able to block nine, but let's see. They roll four die, and they got nothing, nothing, nothing on a red. All the heroes lose one gold. Well, he, they lost, we lost two gold because oh, of this guy. Man. All right, What the so, heck? This guy is the worst. But I did kill him, and he's blue, so let's see what I get here. That's a 16 with That's blue. That's good, right? That's two gold. We're, wait, no. It's three gold. We're actually up <laughs> we're one gold. We're up one gold. We're <laughs> we up got one our gold. gold back plus one gold. That guy was a jerk, everyone. So when we, when not we, a fan. So when we actually beat him down, not only did we find our gold, we also found like somebody else's gold he had killed earlier. Yeah. I feel good about this. Me too. Me too. At least we got the other gold. You know, I'm going to do like the lost and found sort of thing. It's your turn. By putting it in my pocket. That's that sounds accurate. <laughs> it is your turn, oh glory of the hounds. Do you want to go up and risk for treasure? Oh, heck no. Let's or get do out you want to go? Let's get out of here. We're almost dead. I'm out. Peace. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Did you want to spend yourself? Actually, yeah, you I want to spend that spend south before you see that. I would spend it. So Spending it's going to be worth south. three, four, five, six. It's worth six. Okay, that puts me at eleven. It's pretty good. You're our most defensive character, though, so you're probably going to be fine. But I'll probably die. So that's okay. <laughs> I think we can still win, even if I die. All right, we get this treasure. What is this treasure? So I'm okay. So I would it like says, a treasure, first please. off, roll a die. I don't want to. Roll a die. Six. On a one or two, you're choosing to a mayor inflicted with con concussion. On a three to five, spawn a level two monster. On a six, get to gain two CP. Oh, yeah. You gain two CP. Mm -hmm. 
right, and then we actually, so since this yeah, is an actual treasure, if I understand it correctly, we both actually get to roll for that one because it's like a chest that we both open up. I that got... one was off the board. Can I re-roll? It's a two. Yeah. <laughs> it was off the board. Technically, you all didn't see it. I got to draw a card. Would you, so go ahead. Okay, and... okay re-roll. Did it fall? Oops. Would you get a nine? Nine. You gain one health. Well, that's helpful. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's okay. pick up this salve. Let's go here. I've never done this before. Wait, I have to. There's like a bad guy there. No, there isn't because you didn't roll three or oh, five. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So do we just like? I think this is it, right? We just we're done because you have to get to the portal. Nope. Plus two CP per hero. So go ahead and gain your CP. Picked vids or it didn't happen. Seems legit. Wow, Jim calling me out. We gained three gold. <laughs> 22. I promise you it was a two. <laughs> it landed off the board. <laughs> all right, so you gained two CP. Okay. So it says all heroes. And then we gained three gold. It says a spawn, a level four minion. It begins with one additional king's hand token. What? I don't even know what that means. What? Level four minion, please. All right. This is like, I mean, we've only been doing... Like we get, the like, one type of minions. We have no... Pull out the foily one. Because um, there are foily ones in there. If... Yeah, I'll just pull out the really cool ones that I'm definitely don't hurt us. Let me look. Um, that one. Umbra. The umbra. All right, umbra. Ew, this guy's yeah. creepy. <gasps> oh. That's umbra. Look at this whispering death, too. Do you want to fight umbra? Yeah, that's the one you wanted to fight, right? Sure, all right. Oh, I want to see, see it. So it they get creepy. two of the king's death hand tokens. So those tokens are starting it. tokens shown on minions. Max token used per turn is one. Successful roll values four to six. I mean, this is the, like the final battle, so we got to go all out, okay? Here comes the hurt. Wow, oh, thanks. I don't like that they get two of these. I feel like these definitely help them way more than battle it helps cry. Them. Uh, I'd rather them not bring the hurt. Why can't they bring the love? You know, like we're visiting their place. What does a king's hand even do? It's Maybe not we're good. there just to go ahead and play board games with them, but like. Do you want to know what king's hand is or you just want to guess? I'm just asking because I was going to read it, but you're you busy. You could probably read it, but sure. I'm kind of scared. Nah, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about it. We'll, we'll just guess. If I buy Dice Throne Adventures, will I get the holographic cards too? This I... was a Kickstarter promo. It says promo on it. So you would have to make sure that it comes with promo cards. I do not know. And it's a few of them. You got like one level four. I think there was like one or two level threes, <laughs> two level twos, like one level one, something like that. Final countdown to mama. Na, 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 na. You read page nine. Read what King's Hand does. Oh, and that'll gosh. keep you like quiet. Okay. Hold on. All right. Where's so page nine? I lose that. Oh, I gain gosh. a CP and I draw a card. Oh, I could upgrade my meteorite. It's a lot. Why are you having? Why aren't you just telling me this business? Okay. I don't know what it does, but you're talking so much, it's <laughs> impossible for me to find out. So I figured the only way to get you to be quiet enough to figure out what it is if you read it yourself. Okay. How many King's Hand tokens can the boss spend in a single turn? One. So, they're a unique stat effect that can't be transferred or anything. They can be used potentially as a battle-saving comeback by bosses and powerful minions, displaying the King's Hand symbol. Spending King's Hand tokens is not optional. Some powerful minions start with a King's Hand. Right. So, successful roll values. Whenever the King's Hand is spent, a single Chaos die is rolled. If its value is within the spe specified range, the king hand activates successfully. Well, does it say on the card what it happens? And the result of the king's hand die roll may be manipulated as applicable. This one says successful roll values four to six. So I don't feel like it tells me what the king's hand does on here. It just says max I can use per one per turn is one. Starting tokens shown on minions. Successful roll values four to six. So if you roll four or six, it's successful. So figure out what that means. It yep. is successful. <laughs> you are very much not helpful. Okay. 
play. He's got some fancy stuff on him. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attack him. I gained my CP. I drew my cards. There's a six. There's a six. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We call this the Dr. Glory Hog. So what we're going to do is we're going to play one CP to tip it. That's what he said. We're going to tip this to a six. Like so. Then we're going to go ahead and roll. And we're going to go ahead and roll. All right. And then so for my last action here, I am going to play twice as wild for three CP. Okay. So these king hand ones are fucking crazy. Is anyone watching <laughs> cringing <laughs> this rolled? <laughs> All right. This? You mean this right here? Yeah. What are you doing? This? How about some of this? What if I do some of this? How does that feel? How does that feel, Jim? Have you ever been in a situation <laughs> where you did like some fancy card play to roll an ultimate for like the very last battle oh, it's okay, of the no. game? No. And then your wife was like, he has the so king's that it doesn't hand. even matter? No, he has the king's hand. So what does that mean? So you when can't... targeted with an ultimate, if you activate the ultimate ability against the minion boss, roll a chaos dice. With the successful king hand roll, it forces you to re-roll one of your dice. Oh, well, it's something at least. It's a shot. If not, it's going to be really bad. <laughs> oh my god, oh, I'm physically cringing. <laughs> Please stop crushing my manual. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, re I'll fold it up on my flight, okay? All right, Here you go. roll the chaos die, because god, you are I'm chaos a gamer. <laughs> Please roll the chaos die. Okay, uh, this one? Mm-hmm. Anything but a chaos. So good, it, it's successful then. Your ultimate of... is successful. So All right, so gain three hands. fire mastery. Inflict knockdown and burn, deal 12 damage. So we got knockdown and burn. This is fancy. I finally got to use all my stuff. That's done. Where's my knockdown? So, knockdown. no, but I, I've been cringing watching their teamwork. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thanks, Jay Peters. Thank you. <laughs> knockdown and burn, deal 12 damage. Additionally, deal two collateral damage to all opponents. So that's going to happen there, but that's going to be. 12 damage to him, and so he is at 25, or actually Umbra is probably female, I feel like. It's like because it Umbra matters. The Umbra is at 25. I don't think the Umbra is male or female. It's just the Umbra. Like, the Umbra is that thing that's like right before the dark. All right, so... So with Burn, it says... Receive two damage in the upkeep phase. A player affected with this token receives two damage during their upkeep phase, and it's persistent. So they're going to take two damage on their upkeep every single time. Well, that's good. And I also gave them knockdown, which for knockdown, they have to spend two CP, which they do have. They have 10 CP, so they're going to be able to spend that, no problem. Holy cowbells. If not, they wouldn't have been able to spend their action. Okay, so that was my attack on them. They can't defend because it was a ultimate, so it's not defendable. Do you think that we could ask Manny if he had envisioned the Umbra being male or female or I don't think it either. really matters. I mean, I would just Manny think it would be probably, interesting from like an artist's perspective. I'm gonna spend gonna... my plus two to also do two additional damage since I'm doing some like okay. undefendable stuff here. All right. I'm gonna play as this character. This is the end of the game. Did you wanna participate or did you just wanna I would um No, you I do guess. you guess. Yeah. I mean Go ahead. Yeah. I'm way over here though, so I could like go back to the pool over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're going to be able to spend their CP to go ahead and get rid of that, which is why the bosses have CP, so that they can spend that. Okay. And they actually use one of these hands tokens, right? Because they tried to stop my ultimate, so I'm assuming that means they used it. It's the beginning of their upkeep, so they're going to lose two, so they're going to go down to nine. That's cool. I took them from 25 down to nine, but, you know, that's cool. You do you, whatever you're doing. <laughs> and they're going to go ahead and roll, and they're trying to get now all the stars. If they roll and they completely flub up their roll, then they get to spend a king's hand again. Okay, right, because it would and be it their gives turn. A successful king hand roll gives the boss minion another offensive roll phase. They did not get it. So they get to spend it and they get another offensive roll phase? Yeah. So like just one more roll or like a whole... No, another offensive roll phase. Wow. Like They're out for blood, okay? My, will, my wife spilled an entire cup of coffee on Ticket to Ride. Actually, it was the last game we, that we played. Do what? They, do they have to roll Chaos Die to see if they get that, or do they just Yeah, they get still it? have to do the Chaos Die thing. All right, we'll roll Chaos Die. They do get to. Okay. And they already had two of these, so we were right. 
failed. So it says, I just do that. On a failed defensive <laughs> roll, they gain shadows. They gain shadows, so there's a chance that they're going to be able to bounce out of stuff. So I've actually made them waste both their king's hand tokens, too. Well, that's good. And uh, you were, well, I don't know where you're at, but that's Aww. cool. That's sad, Krabok. Yeah, give it me, happens. Give me, oh, this? It's just because it's not sleeved. Is that what you're talking about? Oh. Oh, no, we're just talking ride. about Ticket oh, to Ride. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. You always hope it's like one of those mass-produced games, right, though? <laughs> so it's like a little bit easier to replace. I'm guessing, hold on. I'm guessing that with that much caffeine, you could finish a game in half the time going forward. <laughs> and it just makes the game faster. It's a buff. Go ahead. Oh, it's your turn. It's my turn? Mm hmm All right. So I guess I will also get in this portal area here, like so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and gain my CP. I'm going to get my card. I don't have any of my stuff, salve or anything like that to have spent. Let's see here. And I'm going to roll my dice. You should roll all of them. I, you only the want, you know, I only want to roll the, a few of them, okay? I only want to huh? roll... <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I just feel like you'd probably do better if you rolled all your die. Okay. So, should I, like, go for my ultimate? I'm going to go for my ultimate. Yeah, they don't have the king's hand token anymore, so... I'm going to <laughs> go for my ultimate. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so, so, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and spend some cards and some CP. Change a value of one of your dice to an identical value of another one of your dice, which I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. That costs one CP. Okay. For samesies. And then I also have, so wild, change the value of any one dice to six as well. Nice. So what are you doing? What does your assassinate do? I have do? no idea what my assassinate does, but I feel like it's going to be good because it is the ultimate, okay? <laughs> Inflict delayed poison on two chosen opponents. Maybe the same opponent. Okay. <laughs> you should put them on me. Co-op. Well, I don't know. I'm playing co-op. Game smoke bomb. Deal 10 damage. And ultimate dice may be altered to prevent an ultimate. Otherwise, no action of any kind may be performed against the opponent. So 10 damage. Yeah, you we beat them. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> pow, pow, pow! So I feel like we were really clutching through every single one of those rounds, like, it was very close to, like, I mean, I still only had seven health. I probably I should have healed. Like, what do you even mean? That was all me. But that was all me. I guess we both had the same plan of, like, saving a bunch of cards to make sure we got an ultimate <laughs> at the end. And luckily, they didn't just straight up, like, dodge my ultimate or something. So those king's out. hands, like, were super, super lucky that we didn't roll anything on those king's hands or else this wouldn't have been able to happen. Well, there's a reason why I had you do them and not me. Because if I rolled the chaos die... <laughs> I rolled a chaos die and I just got a six. Oh, I love this. So thing. that's why I don't roll the chaos die. Glory Hound is still playing. I thought she went through the portal and left Doctor on his own. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure what she was doing, but I mean, she did ultimate at the end, so that was cool. That was cool, right? Oh, I love this character so much, everybody. The rule book is fine, the mostly. first thing that I said it's was like... Fine. This was to be... I would switch the camera real quick. I need to tell everybody something. Okay, you need to get in personal. You need to get in personal. I think she just won you guys the game. Yeah! Crap I don't know off. if I'd Boom. say Ha-ha. she won us the Ha-ha. game, but... Because I did, like, 17 damage. And then Here's the thing. Oh, but I did the last Shh. blow, so... I love you, both. please stop. <laughs> this was the first level of the portal. This was easy. This was... So this was... Level the... one? You're like Number a... one. You're like a three-year-old. <laughs> this was... Level one on normal difficulty. We're not even playing on the elite difficulty. This is normal difficulty. Normal people should be able to beat this. And I feel like although we both ultimated, we could have lost this pretty easily for reasons. I don't know what the reasons are. With, like this and Kingdom Rush, why are we like so bad at cooperative games? I feel like we're better off camera because I can like cheat for you. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> 
Three year old just pulled out a clutch play. Bam! That's know. what I'm talking about. I don't about. know if I would say she was clutch. <laughs> Honestly, it was at nine health. It would have gone down to seven health anyways on its turn. So, just saying. And I had like four fire mastery. I'm just saying I would have probably killed it. No problem. I can basically came in there and saved you like a princess. I was like, oh, Dr. Glory Hog, you poor little princess. Oh, roll Let your me die. Save you. See what we get. Roll your die. I'm going to save you. Okay. Roll your this die. Is like our it, it's level loot? four. Yeah. This is our fat loot. We're going to for sure get a card. All right, let's fat loot this. You got to get a five. Dang it. You got a common card. You got a uh, common card. If you would have rolled a 10 or above, you would have gotten a rare and or epic I gotta or rub legendary. It in my face like that. You got a common <laughs> card. We fought through, what was this? Two hours of this to get a common card because of your fail roll. An hour let's and see what minutes. I would have rolled. <laughs> A 20. <gasps> a 20. I would have gotten us a legendary card. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. I don't think you know I'm like so excited for you right now. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I get to do that though, because you defeated it. I think only you get to roll. I'll take your roll. You know what? Let's just switch these dice right here. I'll just I'll take this dice right here, and I'll take this dice right here, and then we'll just go like that right there. Ah, I get an epic card. <laughs> well, it's I mean it's a legendary card, then we decide who gets it. If you guys want to sell your copy of Dice Sword Adventures, I'll be happy to oblige. Oh, that's very nice of you. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you tries to sell off some of my games when I'm not looking. I didn't see anything. Who rolled the twenty? That was me. That was me, Crabok. I'm like really good at rolling. <laughs> I'm, from now on, whenever we get ready to roll, I'm going to be like... <laughs> You're going to get in the mode. Let's do this. <laughs> in the mode. <laughs> you get the four. <laughs> Let's do this. I got 14 on mine. That's better. <laughs> All right, everyone. This week, we're going to be Oof. playing some games. First off, okay. First off, Finally, we're going to actually get to fight each other, which is what I prefer, honestly. If you're new to this channel, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Check the little box that has, like, the bell on it because that notifies you whenever we go live so we can hang out and chat while we're playing with all of you, which we absolutely love. And then just liking and subscribing to us helps us out so much because it makes sure that we get games to show to all of you guys out there. Really super excited about it. And this week we're gonna be playing... Unmatched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. On Thursday. And I'm gonna be looking at Kickstarters. I don't know what all Kickstarters came out. I'm hoping we can I've do a Kickstarter show. already. Yeah, okay. I... She's going to be looking at Kickstarters with a chip. I'm going to be checking out the Kickstarters because I want to do a Kickstarter show this week. Mm. If we end up not doing a Kickstarter show this week, we'll replace it with one of our app-based game battles. And I kind of want to know how that's doing. What are you all thinking about, like, the app-based games and, like, the little video games and stuff like that we've been showing all of you? Like, do you have games in mind that you want to see? Like, is that something we should do? Maybe, like collectively on Wednesday nights or something like that? Like, we want to know. Go ahead and leave that in the comments, and we'll, we'll get back with so all of you. So, Jay Peters makes a really good point that we should do a one versus one to find out who gets that epic loot. <laughs> and, uh, Roll off? I am wow. 100%. No, no, no. Hold on. What's your life at? No, like a straight what's fight. What's your life at? Seven. I'll still beat you, because I have a salad right here. That's six life. I'll be at the same life as you. You want to do this? Why are you like this? No, no, this is a cooperative game, Doctor. You just can't do that. <laughs> Come on, it'll be 13 against 12. Come on, I get to go first. Okay, so by the way, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer picture, your hair was just wild in that pic. Just saying, wait until you see the picture of the Roxley game for next week. Because my one. hair is like freaking blazing in that picture. Because the lighting in this room, you can't see it as much. But I mean, wait to die. Cause... My hair is like super bright pink and purple. It looks amazing. Like, oh my gosh, Crabock. Make sure to follow on Instagram and stuff like that so you can see it all. <laughs> oh my god. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. Yeah, you have the loveliest hair, You don't doctor. even know. Doctor has like the yes, best Yes, the Roxley hair game ever. did not come out today. It's going to come out like yeah. in a week or two or something. I was hoping to be able to do it this week, but they moved the date back, so. These are natural. That's exciting. <laughs> These are all natural D20s. All natural D20s. That's oh, very nice of you. All right, everyone. We will see all of you later in the week. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really, really, really appreciate it. We love talking to all of you in chat. And that's all for, if for the If anybody wants to that's play it. Dice Throne Adventures with me, hit me oh, up. Oh, that's right. Check out our Discord channel so we can get some stuff organized. I think uh, I'm looking Fatal for a replacement do that, right? on the Ninja. Thank you.